Hey everybody, Mojave Trooper here back with another comparison video. And what I have for you today is a comparison of the Trinity of all heroes. That is the Anakin Starkiller hero, the Mom of All Heroes by Seven Chambers and Veracity Labs, and then the Hero V1 by Dave Parkin. The reason I like to refer to these as the Trinity of all heroes is because the amount of work and research that has gone into each and every one of these is insane. Uh, Anakin Starkiller, who made this one, Brian Rogers, Louis Petch, and Adam Days, who made this one right here, and Dave Parkin, have all contributed so much research and work into what we now know as the Luke Magic of Myth Hero, um, or the Hero V1. For this reason is why you can see that, for the most part, all three of these are very, very similar. Um, but of course, there's a few differences that we're going to talk about. Uh, back in September, I did a comparison video uh, that included the mom and the Anakin Starkiller hero, but it also included the Corban V1 and the KR Echo hero. Uh, I've decided to not include these in for this comparison just for the sake of keeping it as the, what I've been calling them the trinity of all heroes and also because I don't want to keep repeating the stuff that I already talked about in that video so if you're wondering about the differences between those two you're welcome to check out that video but in that video I also mentioned that I was waiting on the Dave Parkin hero to arrive so I can include it in a comparison and finally, here it is. Um, I've been having it for a few weeks now, but I figured now is the time to show it off and compare it to these other two great heroes. So starting off with this comparison, I wanted to talk about, just very quickly about the, uh, the size and dimensions of these. So like I mentioned before, these all have very similar scaling and, and size and dimensions um, because these were runs that were done on the RPF and a lot of contributions on research has been done on these. Of course, you can see where the makers of these decided to go off on their own based on the differences. But for the most part, they are very similar in terms of size. Uh, maybe you know, right away, the Dave P is just maybe a millimeter taller. But otherwise, it, they are they look very similar in terms of height, width, um, and scaling. In terms of installability, all of these are installable except for the Dave Parking. The Dave Parking here is a static replica. And the reason for that is because Dave mostly specializes in static props, you know. Uh, he caters mostly for those who want an accurate on, or an almost 100% accurate hilt rather than an installable one. Fortunately, the Mom of All Heroes does this very well. It's very accurate in terms of dimensions, though it does sacrifice some some accuracy in the control box but it is installable and it is very install friendly and that's why it's a it's a favorite for many installers or many people who choose to go with the FX route the Anakin Starkiller hero can also be installed uh, although when it comes to the control box it does require some modification because at least when it comes to the mom of all heroes you have already a way to put in switches in there so that's that that's a good thing about the mama wall heroes here but with the anakin star killer hero these switches are kind of screwed in here so you kind of have to find a way to modify that yourself but other than that i mean you can with the anakin star killer hero you can split it And you can definitely fit electronics in there. However, the only hard part about installing this one is that this piece right here 
the neck, the emitter, and the grenade section are one metal piece, so you can't really split them. With the Mama Ball Heroes, that's the opposite. You can definitely split it. Uh, I don't have a way to show you right now since it's already installed. But you can definitely do that because in addition to that, the Mama Wall Heroes also comes with a copper neck and a bronze neck. So you can choose to your liking. In addition, the Anakin Starkiller Hero does come with a blade cap. I believe this is just one inch and a vented pommel, which has Anakin Starkiller or At Star's End logo right there. The Mom of All Heroes also comes with these. Uh, it does come with another, since this one I have is a Gen 1, it did come with another type of vented pommel, which is more open. This one's supposed to be a hidden vented pommel. Uh, I don't have that with me right now. But it does come, the, the Gen 1 did come with it. I don't know if the future runs well. As far as visual differences go, the first one I would say are in the emitter. When it comes to the Mama Wall Heroes, you can see that the this nipple right here, it has these machining marks, which are present in the real prop. If you look at the Anakin Starkiller Hero, it does not have that. So those were not put into the design for some reason. I don't know what happened there. However, Dave Parkins does have that. Which is really, really nice. You'll also notice that when it comes to the Mama All Heroes here in the emitter, you can see that little mystery dimple right there. And the reason why it's called a mystery dimple is because nobody really knows what it is. Um, some say it's it used to be a set screw at some point. Some say it's just a machining mark. But it's really unknown. The Anakin Starkiller doesn't have that either. So it doesn't have any machining marks in the emitter at all. The Dave Parkin does have that, as you can see right there. When it comes to the wind vane, uh, as I've mentioned, they all look very similar in terms of size, in terms of color as well, but you can see where the gradient differs. Of course, with the Anakin Starkiller Hero, uh, this was a DIY kit, so I had to get this painted. Uh, this was painted, I believe, by Seawood Replicas. And I'm not sure what color they used, but it, I mean, I think it turned out nice. Not as good as a uh, Ace Hardware Gold Antique, or Antique Gold, sorry, I mixed that up. But I think it looks good nonetheless. And you've also got the overspray right here, and right here on this part. The Mama Ball Heroes, like I've mentioned, comes with two other necks, the copper idealized neck and then the bronze one. The one that I have right here is the aluminum painted one. Uh, I painted it with Ace Antique Gold. Uh, I've got the overspray right here on this part of the emitter, but unfortunately I didn't get it right here. Uh, I just, I didn't want to mess that part up and I felt like it wasn't that big of a deal, so I just left it like that. Uh, but this was painted with Ace Antique Gold. The Dave Parkin uh, looks very similar. It's got the overspray right here on this part of the emitter and right here. However, it was not painted with Ace Antique. Uh, I believe in the UK, the closest thing they have over there is spray by bronze. And so because Dave is, that's where Dave is located, that's what he used for this one. In my opinion, I think it's, it looks just as good as Ace Antique Gold, maybe even better. Um, I was comparing some pictures, some reference pictures, and it looks real nice. 
but I mean, I like it. But the other difference you'll notice is that, unlike these two, the Dave Parking Hero also has these, uh, if I can get it to focus, these marks, these paint chips on the, on the wind paint. Dave, uh, he offered two options for his hero. He offers weathered and non-weather or clean. Uh, I chose to go with weathered just because um, I wanted it to look how it looked on the identities exhibition. And since I already have the Mama Wall Heroes, which looks clean, um, I said, you know, might as well go for weathered. And, you know, keep this one just how it looked on the cave scene. Also, because this one's static, might as well make it like the real prop. I think he did a phenomenal job on, on these paint chips. The grenade section has a similar deal going on, just like the uh, wind vane. Again, this is a DIY kit, so I had to get this painted. Uh, I'm not sure what they use, but they got the correct matte finish on the grenade section, which is, looks real nice. When it comes to the Mom of All Heroes, that's, that would be the, an inaccurate part, I'd say. It's supposed to be a matte finish, and you can see this is just anodized with a glossy finish. I mean, it's not that noticeable. I think it looks perfectly fine, but if you want something more accurate, you'd want a matte finish right here. The Dave Parkin Hero does that very well as well. You can see it already has a matte finish. And again, like the wind vane, with the weather option, he chose the I chose to go with the paint chips so that it looked like the Identities exhibition and looked real nice. And we'll see them right here. The control box is also one of the differences I've been wanting to talk about, especially with the day parking hero. Apart from installability, one of the, the things that makes this the Luke hero, as specifically the cave scene hero, is that inside the control box is supposed to have a, a, a circuitry, you know, that you can see in the deleted cave scene. Uh, that's what we call the reveal board. Unfortunately, uh, the Anakin Starkiller hero does not come with a reveal board. Since this was a DIY kit, I guess you had to get one yourself. And because this is, I guess, made to be a, uh, an FX kit, it doesn't just take a regular calculator reveal board. You have to find a special one and modify it or sand it a lot because you can see there's not enough space. Uh, similarly, the Mom of All Heroes did come with a reveal board. As you can see, the space looks very similar to the Anakin Starkiller Hero. But as you can see, it did come with one. It's not 100% accurately finished. Um, I have not painted the parts, especially like this uh, CPU right here. I also haven't added the Death Star 2 pieces. Uh, just because, I don't know, I feel like I wanted to keep this clean and simple because since I was gonna get the Dave Parking Hero, this one also comes with a reveal board. Now the special thing about this one is that this is actually made from an LC785 calculator, a vintage one. The switch here is at an actual Xactra 20 switch, which on the mom, it's just a, you know, one that was made for FX. So that's really cool. Now, one thing I should note though, is that this reveal board I have right here, it's an LC785, but it's a B variant that I got from Dave. If you want true accuracy, it would have to be an A variant. Um, but I, I don't mind. 
I chose to go with the B variant just because it looks accurate enough. It's more common than the A variant and cheaper as well. So I was like, yeah, you know what? When he offered it to me, I was like, yeah, just give it to me. I'll take it. And it, he did a fantastic job with it. Painted accurately, weathered accurately. And you've got the Death Star 2 pieces from Shane Craig slash 3251 Vimmer on the RPF. Replicated from his Death Star pieces, I should say. Very, very nice job. But in addition to that, the reveal card here on the Dave Parkin is an actual vintage vector board one. On the Mom of All Heroes, it isn't. It's one that, it's a replica, a very accurate replica nonetheless. You can see Brian Rogers did a fantastic job on it. And on the Anakin Star Killer Hero as well. It is a replica. Looks very nice though. I like it. But to me, the, the Dave Park and Hero one just feels a lot more special just because it's a vintage one. Same with the reveal board. And another thing is like the grenade section and the wind vane, because of the weathered option, this red arrow right here is chipped. And the this part here under the buttons is also scratched. And that's what you see in the in the real prop. So it's just very nice overall. When it comes to the pommel, they're all very similar, again. But the main differences are that the Anakin Starkiller Hero for some reason has this, you know, this like outer circle in the hole. I don't know why that is. Um, I was looking at some reference pictures. There's one that looks like it has it, but when you look at the others, it just looks like it was just a random scratch or a machining mark, not an actual like raised area here like it is here on the hero. You can see that with the Mom of All Heroes, it does not have that, just like the reference picture. And same with the Dave Parkin Hero. That isn't present. But in addition to that, speaking of machining marks, the Dave Parkin Hero out of all of these is the only one that has the machining marks, the proper machining marks here on the pommel. You can see them right here. Those were present on the real prop. And you can see them on the pommel cubes as well. The Mom of All Heroes also has those on the pommel cubes, but it doesn't have those, those two lines that you saw previously. And this is because this is a Gen 1. I believe the Gen 2 does have that, those have those marks. But otherwise, it, it has the proper machining marks on the rest of the pommel. And the last difference I wanted to talk about is the tri ring. With the Anakin Star Killer Hero, obviously, this tri ring was made to be more idealized. It was never meant to be accurate. And what I mean by that is the actual tri ring on the real prop should be wonky. This one isn't. This one's nice and even. On the Mom of All, on the Mom of All Heroes, they did do that. It is very wonky, just like the real prop. The Dave Parkin Hero is also kind of wonky, not as much as the Mom of All Heroes one. And one thing I did notice too is that the one on the Dave Parkin is a bit smaller than the one on the Mom of All Heroes. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know why that is. I don't know what went wrong with the scaling or what went right. I was looking at some reference pictures. They both, you know, when comparing it to the reference pictures, they both look really, really to scale there. But I don't know what happened. 
Um, they still look very nice, either of these. But uh, another difference you'll also see is that the Dave Parkin one is rusted. And this is just what was part with my weathering commission from Dave. Uh, he weathered the tri-ring just to make it look like how it looked on the identities exhibit. Of course, on the cave scene, presumably, it wouldn't look like that on the cave scene, presumably. It would look nice and shiny and pristine since it was, it was just barely made. So I decided to keep it like that for my mom. Again, just to keep it to in pristine condition how it looked on the cave scene. So that's it as far as visible differences go. I just want to quickly go over the pricing for these. The Anakin Starkiller here, of course, is no longer available. It was a run that was done back in 2019 in the RPF. And at that time, it was around, I believe, $235 for the DIY kit, give or take. I bought this second hand and already painted and everything, and it was around $300. When it comes to the Mama Wall Heroes, it's not available right now, but I believe Seven Chambers is working with TXQ to produce these. Not only TXQ, also Phoenix Props. So that should be exciting. But this one I bought second hand, and it's a Gen 1, and it was around $280 empty. To get it installed, it was a bit more, but that's how much it was empty. I don't know how much it'll be for future runs. I assume they'll announce the pricing for those later. Maybe around $300 to $350, it depends if they bring back the Elite kits or not. Uh, when it comes to the Dave Parkin Hero, uh, this is a static prop, but it's, since it's made with vintage parts, uh, it was it was around I believe 500 British pounds which I guess give or take would be around six hundred dollars that it cost me but Dave will be offering uh, regular heroes with replica reveal boards and uh, reveal cards as well as the switch and I believe those will be around 450 British pounds so, and, if, and that's for a fully finished commission. DIY kit, I think it's a bit less, like 250 British pounds, but he'll definitely offer finished ones. Anyways, that's gonna be a wrap up for this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. This one is one that I've been looking forward to a lot, just because, you know, the Dave Parkin hero is one that I've been waiting for. Um, the Anakin Starkiller hero I've been having for a while as well, and same with the Mama Wall heroes. Personally, I think the Mama Wall hero is still going to be my favorite just because it can be installed. Uh, the Anakin Starkiller, uh, just because of how much discussion and research went into it. Um, but the Dave Parkin hero is very special to me because, again, you know. The control box is made of mostly vintage parts. So, you know, you have the, again, you have the, the vector board right here with the reveal card, the exactor switch, and the LC785 reveal board. Of course, although that's still special, I will still be enjoying doing this every time, you know, flipping the lever or the switch. And those arrows light up here on the mom like they do on the cave scene. But anyways, all three of these are great heroes nonetheless. That's why I call them the Trinity of all heroes. And for someone who is a DIYer, you know, you want to paint it yourself, maybe the Anakin Star Killer Hero is for you. If you want something that is installable while still being ready to go, you know, you don't have to do any extra modifications that are not the neck or the rails. Uh, and the mom of all heroes is for you, like it is for me, since it's installable. But if you're someone who prefers static props that are almost one-to-one -one accurate with the real prop, then something like Dave Parkins will be for you. Um, but these are all great. 
So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it very much. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next comparison video.